sex ed, most of us remember those uncomfortable classes in school, but now there's a new way teens are getting their sexual information, you're not gonna believe this, from erotic websites. Yes, there's a website called Pornhub that has created their very own online wellness center offering sexual education. Doesn't seem like a good idea to me. I, I've been on Pornhub and I never saw the, <laughs> the educational part. <laughs> I, mean, I mean, it's all educational in a, in a way, but I, I didn't Stop. see the little button like. Kids, it's not educational. No. Yeah. Listen. Are you being serious, first of all? Yeah, you did. <laughs> yes, I know what Pornhub is. <laughs> oh, well, because I didn't, as a, as, at this age, the web hadn't been invented. So my sex ed had nothing to do with internet or websites. You're saying or, when you're a teenager, you did not have access to the World Wide Web. Correct. Cameras were just being invented, so we understand. <laughs> But no, I do think it's, it's important to admit and acknowledge that how kids learn it, it's changed so much. It's basically learning whether it's good or bad is a click away, but a, a pornography website? I'll tell you what concerns me about it. From a psychiatric standpoint, a child and adolescent psychiatric standpoint, there are studies, and the studies do show that when children, adolescents consume pornography, they watch pornography, there's a higher incidence of earlier, riskier sexual behavior. Not only that, but they get a poor sense of self-image when they look at these things. How could so, you not? Right, right. exactly, right. well it's unrealistic. Yeah. But on that yeah, scene, yeah, yeah. the bar is set pretty high on those <laughs> right. on those sites. I mean, they and are. you know what you're talking I mean, about. I mean, I tried and I, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And this is their baseline. I mean, it, it has nothing to do with love. It's it's right. it's crazy. Absolutely, it's... absolutely. It, it it creates false expectations for these kids. Creates all kinds of problems. And here's the thing: kids are going to look at it, no Maybe matter what we do as parents. I deal with this a lot in my practice. Parents will say, how do I get my kids off the internet? And I say, listen, you, you put the parental blocks, you do all of those things, but they're, but they're gonna find a way. When they're they go to their friends. They're, they're gonna find a way. That's true, but I, I think like if we look at this, the bigger picture, like this is about money. And we know that as adults, we're pretty much failing our kids when it comes to teaching them about sex education in America. And so I feel as though the porn industry is capitalizing on our failures. And what they're doing is they're saying, hey, come over here, your parents don't understand, but we'll educate you here, we'll educate you. And if you happen to click on one of those links on the site, that's fine, but look at all these good facts we have. And by doing that, I think they're trying to add a legitimate layer of, like, to the porn industry. I think they are trying to build a foundation by establishing trust, and they're really, really, really trying to draw in more and more teenagers to build stronger relationships. I think that's a valid point. So how do we combat that? Listen to this, how do we combat that? You know what we do? We talk to our kids, we take the shame out of it. We talk to them before it's a problem and we say, hey listen, we don't want you going on these websites, but if you come across something like this or if you found something in your browser history, you go to your child and you say, hey listen, it looked like you were checking out some sites, why don't we talk about it? Do you have any questions about it? Yeah. Don't let them feel shamed about it. And that solves the whole problem. You know what's crazy is that uh, Drew, you're not alone. 20% of men admit to accessing porn at work. Well, not alone. It's, you're not alone. It's okay. That reminds me of uh, Jerry, the IT man. He, and he checks your history. He goes, Doc, you've been at it again. I go, no. You tell him you got to learn. I said, oh, that was, a slip, of the, it was a slip of the button. Yeah. Well, it's just something to know. <laughs> Parents, 42% of internet users between the age of 10 and 17 watched porn online this past year. So just understand there's a good chance your kids could be doing the same.